Hey, hey, what's happening, guys? I want to give out a shout out to my good friend or best friend Ben, who's behind the camera filming for it like this because I've never had this opportunity to do that. Hopefully, I hear everything I say. The wind is light today, and this being the first day of the new year 2021. Happy New Year! <laughs> so, uh, just by chance, we're here. Yeah, Happy New Year to you all. And uh, just by chance, I'm here uh, with uh, Ben in the West Island. We're in Dorval on uh, Sources and Hymas. Uh, Brutval de Sosa and Sources. And actually, I spotted for years this nice old step van. And now approaching it, because I never got it to up, up close and I don't see well. If you don't know, I'm visually impaired. I can't even drive legally. Well, we're here. If you show Ben, look at that truck coming there. This is a major trucking area here. A lot of industry. And we're near Highway 40, which is just north of here where Ben is pointing. So this is a major area for trucking. Actually, that truck is interesting. Just look at the below the cab there. It's just all like flat. Yeah, that's interesting. That. And also, just a quick note, uh, that over there, just there under my finger, or over my finger, is the overpass for the REM, the that's ISO right. Express that's Metro right. That's right, the new uh, light rail project. Light anyway, Metro. I'm even more <laughs> glad that we're recording this truck because it's all, I didn't know it from, from seeing it from far with the fence and everything or from the street that uh, this truck is much older than I thought. Most of these you see that are left of this design exactly are from the 90s. But this one, it looks to me like it's from maybe even the 70s or 80s because of style how the headlight bezels are much farther much closer to the edges here the curb master this is like a name that comes from the 70s and 80s look at that actually no maybe it is from the 90s actually judging by the pattern on the grill this bizarre pattern and also your hood opens here in this release here um, so it could be from the 90s but i think it's more likely from the 80s than anything else but also if you look at those rims look at those wheels those are like major truck wheels they're Pirelli colored to match the Pirelli yeah, logo. <laughs> and, and, and again, this is a long wheelbase truck. This is a good. These were popular for Canada Post. They were popular as well with the, the Palm Bakery, the bread truck, as bread trucks. Uh, ben, I don't know if you can reach it to look in here. I can try. Yeah, no, she's really enough. old, man. Look at that. Look at that interior. Look at that steering wheel. Even the driver's seat. That thing is like, yeah, again, I'm pretty sure it's probably 80s. Actually. There's your shifter there on the... Look at that. It's so old. Look, it's a manual transmission. The shifter's on the ground. There's even a fucking hole in the ground. You see that? There's a big hole there where below the pedals. I can't see it. Hopefully the camera can because I you put can't it over the window. But I couldn't see it from where I am. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> so, you know, maybe the reason why this truck still exists is that it is next to a garage here, a major garage. There's four doors. And a lot of garages have these old vans because they can put all the kinds of parts and tires in them and stuff and uh, it's just much cheaper than building another building or adding to a building you know so it's just neat to see them still it's actually funny because it's still in great shape you know what look at those tires they actually still look really good they look good but they're all flat that yeah, one's but flat the one in the front's really flat very good yeah it's true oh man and once again like other other of these types of step vans I filmed, you know when a, when a step van is really old because look at the hinges on that those doors. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a refrigerator. There's that Pirelli logo probably displayed. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they had a partnership with Pirelli for tires, well, yeah. among others, but... And by the way, and if you don't know, most of these trucks were powered by 350 gas V8s. They didn't really become more diesel until probably, I guess, uh, mid-late 90s, you know, and uh, so this is likely a 350 gas. That's probably when they discovered that diesel is a lot more efficient and cleaner, yeah. and since, uh, and probably after the, maybe, well, I was going to say the oil crisis, but that would have affected diesel another, as well. Another thing that shows the, tr the sign of this truck, like any vehicle, is that it's from the 90s or earlier, is all the rivets. It's yep. all riveted like this, you know, they don't make anything like that anymore. You it's all, see. it's all, uh, clean welding and all that stuff, yeah. or, or glue. <laughs> Ben, you need a camera for a minute? Sure. I want to get another, one last view of that interior from the driver's side You'll here. Have a better angle. Well, yeah. then again, that window is not very clean. It doesn't matter. I'll make it clean. And then another sign is these mirrors. You know. Wow. Oh, you're not kidding. It's frosted and dusty on the inside. It's weird. I don't know why it's so dirty on this I side. I got it the window on the other side, so it should be okay. Interestingly enough, the, num the name Grumman is also very synonymous with aircraft, air building aircrafts. And uh, I actually sometimes wonder if these two companies, if it's the same company that made these as well as the aircraft, because these were also made with, with GMC and Chevrolet. So uh, I don't know. But anyway, thanks again for Ben for filming this. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> geez, the yellow doesn't look the same as, as I... Did you play yeah, with this? No, I didn't touch anything. It's just very bright and on your... No, it doesn't look the same yellow at all, though. Why? It's oh, actually a very faded yellow to, to those watching.
but uh, that's because cameras do not always read colors as well as 